So my dad, as a policeman, probably had to pull his gun more than once, shoot someone, shoot at someone, and probably shot at by people. He's probably had to hold someone who was injured or dying, and he never talked about that to us. That, that, that just wasn't done back then. And so maybe some drinks and alcohol kind of snuck up on him and he became an alcoholic. I can remember before I went back to university, I enlisted in the military to be uh, uh, fly jets and be electrical and, uh, an electrical engineer. And I did all the testing beforehand to uh, go to Royal Military College and I was really looking forward to it and they sent me to boot camp which is one of the uh, most gruesome training to really push you to stress you to see if you will snap or to teach you how not to snap under pressure and stress and I had played lots of high school sports and I had run events at school so I was used to doing what you're told to do and and following the instructions and I was doing quite well in the military uh, at the boot camp training and you know, we had obstacle courses to do and we had to spit polish our boots so they shone and your, your clothes had to be ironed and I never ironed clothes before and, you know your socks had to be rolled up like a little something in a blanket and neatly in your rows. All things to push your mind to stress, to see how you handle and to teach you how to, how to handle stress. And one thing that helps with stress is routine. So, anyway, I was doing well and it was about five or six weeks into the full two month summer course when I realized I don't want to be in the military. I, I never wanted to be in the military and it was pretty much my dad who suggested, said, you know, if you want to go in the military or you serve 20 years and then you're out with a great pension. And, you know, that was an interesting concept at the time. I didn't think of it at the time, but a guy who's a police officer telling you that, it's kind of telling you this might have been a better way to go than being a police officer. And I may have him subconsciously sharing that he wasn't really happy as a police officer and the things he had to deal with, although he wasn't ever vocalizing that with us so so I was in my boot camp training and starting to feel those thoughts but I was also getting this homesickness that I just I really have to go home and at the time I just didn't know what it was I just knew I had to get out so there's quite a process to get out because they've invested a fair bit of money in pre-selection training and uh, and time that's gone into that and you know the training for the, the, what, the six weeks I was there so went through the process and, and was released and in hindsight I look back and think you know what I wasn't sleeping I couldn't turn my mind off there was on the outside I was showing that I could solve whatever tasks they had for us to do today I, I could do all that stuff but inside I was just an absolute wreck and it's so typical of what people with depression and anxiety show. The mask. There's an outside mask that you wear on the outside that everyone else gets to see from the outside that shows that you're competent. You can do this and you can handle it. But on the inside, there's another version of that mask, the inside, and it has all those words of doubt that I see on the inside of not good enough, don't deserve this, incompetent, that I personally grew up with. Now, that's what the words on side, inside of mine were. And when you don't deal with what's on the inside of the mask, eventually, I think that takes over and the outside of the mask just crumbles and cracks and you're wiped out with depression. And that person that could handle everything and juggle all the different balls in the air is now a person that's incapacitated on the couch, not able to walk their dog or even empty the dishwasher. So 
take the mask off every now and then and talk to someone about what's going on. Practice the attitude of gratitude. Whatever it is that takes you to a calm place, just kind of learn to do that. That's it for now.